Hey guys, in this SpaGR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can combine a segmentation with skin softening because this needs a little workaround to work together. So let's go! Hey again, so let's create a background segmentation with a skin softening applied. You might have noticed that it isn't that simple to um, yeah, apply face softening when you already have a segmentation in your Spark AR project because this needs a little workaround. You can't just um, yeah, create a face mesh and then apply the retouching material to it. So yeah, I will show you how to do this so you also get skin softening when you have a segmentation in your yeah, Spark AR project. So let's start. The first step is the um, normal step we also do when we want to apply yeah, face softening to any other project. So we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we yeah, create a face mesh. Then Spark AR will also automatically create the face tracker zero for our yeah, face mesh. So now the face mesh is following our face. I will um, yeah, rename this face mesh zero to retouching. So then we will go down to our assets and here click on the plus. Here we will create a new material. I will also rename this material to retouch. So then we go to the right hand side and set the shader type to retouching. So when we have done this, we can go back to our scene, then go to our retouching um, face mesh and set the material to our yeah, skin softening material we have just created. So now, this is the point, you don't see a skin softening applied to your face now. So yeah, let's move on. We have to create another face mesh now. So go to your scene, click on the plus and create a new face mesh. This face mesh will be created outside of your face tracker and now you have to drag and drop it into your face tracker zero. So now it is also following the face. So when we have created the new face mesh, I will rename this face mesh to face. Then we need of course a new material for this face. So we go down to our assets panel again and then create a new material. So I will rename this material to face as well. So then we go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now we need a texture for this, for this material. For this we go to the left hand side to our face tracker, select it, go to the right hand side again and here click on the little plus next to texture extraction. So now we will get a face tracker zero texture in our assets panel. Now we can go back to our face material, select it, go to the right hand side and set as the texture the face tracker zero texture. So then we go again back to our scene and select for the face mesh the material, the face material. And now you can already see that a skin softening is um, yeah, applied to your face. But we have some um, yeah, issues here. The first thing is this um, thing here going on at the mouth and also at the eyes. So this is pretty simple to fix. So when you have your face mesh selected, you can go to the right hand side and here you have to check boxes with eyes and mouth. So yeah, just deselect them. So you have fixed this problem. So now when you want to set the strength of the face smoothening, you have to go to your retouch material and here set the skin softening you want to apply. So there is also another problem because now when you move back your face, the face softening is disappearing. As you also can see here in our viewport, um, the face mesh is disappearing beho behind our planes. So yeah, to fix this, we go to our face material and then open the advanced render options and here deselect, use dev test and also write to dev. So now this problem is fixed. So the face mesh is, yeah, you can see the face mesh all the time, but you have to make sure that the face tracker is underneath the segmentation here in the scene. So when it is above also the 
skin softening is not visible, so make sure the face tracker zero is underneath your segmentation plane. So now it is applied again. So there is also one um, issue we, we face here because here is a black line, a subtle black line when your face mesh is um, yeah, applied. So we have also have to get rid of this so you can't see it that much here because of my beard. So let's change this. I have um, yeah, created an asset for you. You can download for free. So just go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up on a Dropbox page and here just download this face.bng file. So after you have downloaded this asset, you can import it to your project. So click on the little plus at the assets panel and go to import and from computer and then just yeah, import the downloaded PNG file. So after you have opened it, make sure you set the compression of it to none. So now go back to your face material, go to the right hand side again and activate here the alpha option and then set the texture to the face alpha or face um, yeah, file and then the black line here should be gone. And this is all the magic about applying some face retouching or skin softening to your filters where you have already a segmentation going on. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be great when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.